820 cookie jars and counting, many of them with a holiday theme. But this collection is really year round. They go together like milk and cookies. Mary Schrader is known for her cookie jar collection, only they're empty. Do you make cookies? No, no. As my husband says, I've got 820 cookie jars and never baked a cookie in my life. Schrader's jar collection is getting so big, it occupies most of the second floor of her Tampa home. So you might wonder, how does a cookie jar make the cut? If I don't have it, that's it. There are some for the seasons, others for no reason, and you might even spot jars that are famous. Here's Lucy, Desi, Fred, and Ethel, and their, their trailer. Look, the gang from I Love Lucy. Schrader travels all over Tampa Bay looking for cookie jars. She hits estate sales, searches Craigslist, you name it. I get cheap ones. We go to flea markets. I bought them as much as a dollar a piece. What's uh, the most you spent on one? A hundred. Point is, if there's an interesting cookie jar out there, Schrader will find it. But typically, they're not in this pristine condition. They've usually got plenty of grease on them and dirt. They all get a good washing before they come up here. They get dusted once a year, whether they need it or not. And you never know what jar will join the collection next. Now, I can't be 100% sure, only Santa knows for sure. But I think this is 821 cookie jars in Tampa. I'm Gail Guayardo, News Channel 8.